it was a process of evolution and a cooperative venture where a lot of people put their thoughts and insights into things. Tried to collect all the information from all the people, and then I just sat down and I said to myself, okay, what would, what would you do personally if you had to express the spirit of the vision that these people are trying to share with you? It's a long process for taking an idea and having that idea become a reality. People came to me saying, Rich would like to have this vision become real. From my perspective, his vision was give them something that reflects the mission and the objectives of the company. I wanted it to help people to think about what visions and what dreams they may have so that they may think about making some of their dreams become reality. And I think I picked up bits and pieces of my own life experiences and how I felt about being creative and how I felt strongly about family's importance and getting children to be created. The originals were like um, uh, bowling trophies that were destined and doomed for a yard sale, but we got beyond that. To see something that was from the earth, to be melted together, and then to be poured into a form and then become an earth material again to make that idea permanent. That's pretty awesome. You know, there are going to be critics who will look at this thing and say, oh, that's, I really like that. There are going to be people who look at it like, what is it? There are going to be other people who look and say, I don't know if I like that at all or it doesn't do anything for me or it speaks to me. That's the magic of art. When people sit down in moments of reflection, it'll make them think about what it is that they're doing and why they're doing it and what they need to do to extend that into the next generation. I know that Rich has visions and he wants to move um, people to work toward their dreams and their visions.